Hello everyone and welcome to our 10 a.m. airing of our fourth and final presentation of our game Nomad. But before we begin, we collectively want to apologize for last week's sudden cancellation. Nevertheless, we are here today to take our revenge on technology and we thank you once again for being with us today. Enjoy! Welcome everybody to our last Nomad Showcase. Today we are here with the whole Leeds team. Hey! <laughs> Today we are going to show you and talk about our last version of the demo. But first we are going to look at a little sneak peek of what you can expect. excited for you guys to see what we've made but first I want to talk about where it all started. Sivar, yes. how, where did Nomad start? How did you do it? Uh, actually in the game art course, it's on the poster. <laughs> CC was a crate that I designed like for my third time and I was like what if I make an entire story around this crate? And uh, if you look back on what we've made so far, like you know how the, the demo looks. Um, do you think uh, you can be proud of the story you made about, uh, about CC? Yeah, I'm really proud. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm really happy to hear that. Also as someone who helped with developing the story uh, as we worked on this game, um, because you did have this very beautiful vibe going on already and like the visuals and the characters um, but we could really do the world building together and I really love doing that with all of you guys yeah <laughs> I'm really get, glad we could do that together because uh, for, for the first time working in such a large group and something so personal to give that to another person is sometimes really hard but mm. it was very helpful in becoming better as a creator myself yeah and it was really amazing to see this little idea that I had grow into such a big thing. So that's... Uh, that's yeah, because we, we did have some trouble with the story at first. Uh, we had plenty of story meetings, uh, or the vibe checks as we called them. <laughs> <laughs> um, we did vibe. <laughs> <laughs> did you think we, we would ever get this far with the story? That, like, did you ever imagine the story to become what it is now? Actually, no, because I, I, I didn't think we would get this far, but we've shown so much motivation and so much ideas and we brought so much to the table that we, we made this an amazing thing together. And uh, and you, you really worked with Sifa on the story? Yeah. Um, how did you use your vision to create this story and how did you uh, take what's into this? Well, I think it was mostly a group effort, also uh, with Steph uh, from Sound, who couldn't be here today, um, and Kjeld as well. Um, I just thought there were some things missing in the background story of the world itself. And just when you drop that on the table and let everyone share their own visions, usually you do come together at some point. Uh, I, I just think we had a really open communication about that and everyone, we trusted that our ideas were safe in each other's hands. So we could just throw the wildest ideas in there. And, <laughs> and, and we trusted the process. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> we wouldn't even be talking anymore. We would just be laughing because it was 
so dumb at some point, but you know, <laughs> that's where the best ideas come from. So that's true. <laughs> but for my idea, we were pretty all, all on the same line. We had some yeah. of the same ideas and some of the same outcome. So that was also pretty good. To see, cool to see. Yeah, the fun the fun part about it was that I wasn't much involved in those meetings, the vibe checks we call them. <laughs> <laughs> but I I, fi I figured like let's let's just join, you know, and I'll see what what happening in those meetings and at some point I was also fun to contribute in, in such a way where a lot of visions came to just one place and then we could make a conclusion on that and make a story. Even as a programmer you could feel uh, invited into a meeting and can put your effort in those meetings. Yeah there was a very open communication. Yeah. <laughs> cool. And then afterwards, after everyone just threw in their ideas and you had this whole big mess of cool stuff that you wouldn't be able to use all, you wouldn't be able to use everything because there was just so much. So um, that's where Receiver and I came in, where we had to like cut it down to what it is now. Um, I remember we had a crazy idea that uh, Cece was actually Ebo's daughter. Yeah, <laughs> at some point he became... Yeah, <laughs> But it was <laughs> so Her soul was trapped in the crate. <laughs> <laughs> but it was so confusing that e even I couldn't understand it after some time. So we scrapped that idea. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's really interesting uh, how much changes uh, we we made with the relationships uh, of of Ebo. Uh, we changed uh, first. He had a daughter only. Then then the wife came into uh, play, and uh, what happened to them? Then. Indeed, the daughter was Cece. Then the wife turned into a husband. And, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, how did you uh, come up with this process? How did this process work for you? For me or for like the whole for, group? For like the group, for you guys. Uh, I think it's just the same as the whole thing. Like you would throw something in, everyone would laugh. Then we'll be silent for a moment. And you'd be like, wait, something in there. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like something we could use, you know? <laughs> I really liked and enjoyed this because it was such an open, in, uh, indeed, a, an open conversation about the ideas that we had, and we made such an amazing piece. Yeah, and it was really fun to have other ideas because, as one person, you you can always come up with everything. So I'm really glad that I was able to throw this into the group. And yeah, and I also think uh, for the process itself, uh, of course, those conversations were very useful, but it was also nice that we split it on different days because at some point you're just overloaded with all the information and you just have to let it simmer for a few days and then come back to it and then you're like, oh wait, but some of the things we wrote down is actually really good. Yeah, and Sifa, you, you said the project was really personal for you, um, like the, the story with CC. Do you still, still feel the same way or did the whole process with the whole group take some of that personality away, like the, the uh, value of the personal level. I think, like I said before, um, we made this a group project. I still see my own uh, signature on the game, in the game. And um, yeah, well, it's still very personal to me. Because I, I still feel like we, we need to to continue this, we, we yeah. still need to, to, to finish this. There's no closure yet. <laughs> yeah, because we have so much big ideas and we've just made it such a small part of, of the whole game. So that there's so much more to come. I don't know how everyone else feels about it, but at some point it did really feel like we were creating, we were contributing to your story. Like we, we were giving our own parts to this whole crazy thing that originated with your idea so uh it didn't really feel like we were we were taking it from you but more like giving something to it building it up yeah. building it up to become something better yeah yeah but like you said there's more coming we have plans to continue this so you heard it here first but <laughs> for now um let's check what we made <sighs> very cool Check it out.
The world wasn't like this before. In the beginning, people lived in what we called cities. Living in constructions reaching for the skies. Humankind was prosperous and consumed by greed. As they took everything from the land that they could get their hands on, the world started to retaliate. One digging site was the end of life as they knew it. We call this happening the fall of the settled. Toxic fumes spread out from every crevice in the earth. And while they greedily took everything in their path, our ancestors fled their static homes. With the world changing, you have to adapt. My family and I moved around the continent in our own group of nomads, following the trail of fresh air. I would always do the perimeter checks with CC whenever we set up camp for the day. After all, we couldn't afford to be caught off guard. But one day, a threat would reveal itself in a way none of us were prepared for. When I returned from my rounds, the whole camp was barren. The tents were destroyed, crates lay broken on the ground. Everyone was gone. We heard rumors some time ago about a safe haven where the fumes couldn't reach. If I am to find them anywhere, maybe. I need to know what happened. I need to find...
I'm really proud of what we made. In eight weeks, we put so much work together to create this amazing game, and I'm, I'm just, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, proud. Yeah. I'm so proud. Super yeah. Proud. Also, just seeing that and going, oh, I did that, and I was, like, involved in that, and I, yeah. <laughs> and also the the problems you faced during the project, uh, to see them. Fixed and working in the game now. Oh, Must be working. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's always such a relief if it's a problem. If there's a problem, and you see it solved, then you go, 
Whoa. Programmers did their magic. <laughs> always. <laughs> always, always, always. always. <laughs> Don't know it's how they did, it, they did it. Help us. <laughs> yeah, I was for you guys to fix all of their problems. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, um, no. Um, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of communication has had to be there so that this can be fixed. There was a lot of iterations between uh, the bug fixings. Like we fixed the problem and the next day it come back. It, there was a lot of problems like that. But uh, after a lot of de deliberation and contact between uh, the teams, we made uh, a really nice flow so that we can integrate all that stuff and also have an got of a lot of communication about what is broken and so that we could fix it. That is what uh, yeah. uh, eventually led to the to this project. To this all. Yeah, so lots of times we heard uh, people were panicking from other teams, <laughs> from art or design or sound maybe even, and uh, there was at least one person from programming was like, well, I think I know a solution. So we sit together and that is how we solve the problem. But like Dylan said, when we solved it, there were like two other problems that occurred. <laughs> so it yeah. was an iterative process, but eventually we made this the demo level. But yeah. overall, you I'm could say you. you I'm glad proud. with the code. Yeah. yeah. I'm <laughs> glad that it works. <laughs> <laughs> we too. Yeah. Same man. <laughs> yeah, so we made it with the intention to go further with the project, but some parts in the code that we've written uh, could be better. But we're we're proud of what we have, so I'm proud. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to hear. And the other teams, uh, design, Kiel, um, how do you look back on this project? It w it was a really nice project. I, I really enjoyed it. And um, like you just said, with the the, the programming team, um, we have lots of different teams now. We have a really big team. Most of my project was with uh, five, six at the most eight people and now we had had 32 participants which was a lot with all different uh with all different teams so uh, also also a programming team so the most time when we had a project we could think of something great but it didn't work we just made sketches and faked it so it looked real but fake it till you make it, fake it, till you make it. <laughs> But now we could actually make it real, so that that was really cool. But um, yeah, sometimes we struggled a bit between uh, the, to get the teams on the same line because we had such a, a big uh, team. Um, and as, if someone has one ID, has one ID, and um, everyone else must know that same ID, because if someone who is making, for for example, if art is have is having an ID, how the room will look. But we at the whole design team um, were making, were thinking, oh yeah, that must be placed there and that must be placed there, so it works. And if someone at art who um, doesn't um, doesn't see uh, doesn't get that, um, the whole room is different. So you need to really communicate with each team. So that was was difficult, but I think we we did it great. Yeah, eventually the integration process that we invented in Sprint uh, 3, I think that helped a lot. Uh, in that we uh, went with uh, me and the design lead, Kjeld, uh, to uh, the teams and integrated uh, the stuff. That's not only uh, stuff from programming, but also the stuff from art, sound and design. So that each team uh, knew what was being implemented and could also uh, give feedback to that. Yeah, and we did that every day. Yeah. And that, that was just a great process. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I think the, the, the most important point was that everyone could see what we have. Mm -hmm. And the integration was a great method to fix that, uh, that process. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was a great thing. Um, and then uh, Art, right after this commercial break, dreamed of having a nomad sweater well too bad because we already ordered them and we're probably not going to order more but for everyone who ordered them you probably look amazing in it we have our own model showing it off <laughs> front and the back we also have stickers a poster and awesome buttons right here 
And if you ever want to pick up more merch, just come to school or meet me at my place, wherever that might be, and you might get some. Thank you so much for watching. What I really liked is that all of us came together, all 32 of us, and we brought so much to the table ourselves. We had different expertises and talents, and it's so great to see it all come together. <laughs> I, I know yes. I've said this like a thousand times, <laughs> but I, I, I really enjoyed this togetherness. Like, we, we share the, the, the responsibilities of, of creating this, this super cool demo level. And yeah. What I personally really enjoyed, uh, because uh, because of the lockdown and everything, we weren't always able to work to see each other, actually, like, physically see each other. Uh, but the times we were able to, like, get a location and get, like, a big part of the group together, uh, it was really nice to just see one of the groups stressing about something and then the other group going, oh, that, I can fix that, that's no problem. <laughs> and just the whole... <laughs> It was really nice, just the whole the whole circle going every single time. <laughs> yeah, it was really nice that it, everybody was uh, also really quick about it. Yeah. In, uh, in previous projects, that process will take time. And in this project, it was just, oh, I will hop in the call, I will fix it for you. And it was like, pro five minutes, it will be fixed. Yeah, everyone was really helpful, just all the time. It, yeah. Even if and very swift. Yeah, even yeah. if someone was busy, they would be like, oh, I can put it on for a second and go help you, and then you can, like... You could really see the motivation. Yeah. That everyone also liked what they were making. It was not just a generic school project. Mm. It's it's something they all really liked and wanted to help with, uh, to create. Yeah, I, lo I also love, like, how we not only grew as individuals during this project, but also as a team. Uh, from the start, we have been kind of pushing on... on uh, working together and uh, doing stuff together also outside of the working hours uh, like the Friday game night we implemented um, and that made our team way better connected and, and we could take way more feedback from each other and every every single feedback was just uh, taken by heart and uh, accepted and people actually worked on the feedback yeah. and that's something really unique for a project with such a short, short time span. Yeah, also uh, during the course you really got to know each other and what if everyone was capable of. Uh, uh, like in the beginning uh, we had this really big plan, we we're gonna have like three or four levels. <laughs> and it was <laughs> yeah, a bit too which, optimistic. Which yeah. is crazy, we wouldn't be able to do that anyway, <laughs> no matter how good we were. But um, at some point, just going for art, we're not able to do that. That's going to be, be insane to actually expect that from my group and learning what everyone was capable of doing and uh, communicating that to design, for example. Like, you guys have to throw away a lot of stuff, but yeah. we, we're still able to like come together on some things, and that was great. Yeah, I also personally really enjoyed just working with, with the whole group. As Martin, as Martin mentioned, we had the Friday game nights at, at the last hour of each Friday, <laughs> which we were playing a, a silly game where you could draw things, and then we draw things from bugs in the game, <laughs> which we all knew about, and then we could laugh about it. So I really, personally, really enjoyed that. If you don't, it's time to say. <laughs> <laughs> or not. My, then my perception was wrong, but I enjoyed uh, this eight weeks. Yeah, and I think that the people who uh, didn't really care about it, they just um, stepped out uh, and, and connected in a different way because I do feel like everyone is connected to each other. Uh, also with the, with the memes in our own Discord channel. And <laughs> yeah. Everybody's having fun with, with everybody. and uh, I feel like uh, everybody can say anything to anybody. And that's something that pulled us uh, through this project. And we're all really professional about it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and looking back, yeah, yeah, we were optimistic. Uh, we had to cut a lot of shit and, and, and put stuff aside. But what we made and what we showed uh, is, is amazing. Yeah. And I couldn't be more proud of this team. Mm -hmm. Sure. I, also, just eight weeks, guys. That's like nothing. <laughs> eight fucking weeks. And to be fair, yeah. I'd rather cut uh, stuff from that we've created then then have too little yeah, yeah. because yeah. I mean, we were just so imaginative yeah, it also says something about uh, the, the creative process and 
if you feel comfortable, you get more creative, you share more of your your ideas, and we had way too many ideas. Yeah. So it says something yeah, about we were the, very the connection. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We were really motivated, but also really comfortable uh, sharing our ideas. And uh, I think that really says something about uh, the connection between the people. Yeah. yeah. I think uh, honesty is a major part. Yeah. That plays in that. Yeah. And also just something stupid meme about it and move on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. First we were making, we were two levels. Then it was, it was one level, but with four big areas. But we're really lost. But we're realizing that our team will get a head headache if they were <laughs> going to do that. But if yeah, if I see now the demo, I'm really proud. And it's also really long. It's it's not too short or something. No, definitely. Yeah. We have a lot of playtime. Yeah. Yeah. Having said that, uh, we can be proud. Uh, we can look back with a positive note uh, on this uh, eight weeks. But. Um, how will the, the consultants look back on this and how what will they think? Um, and there's only one way to find out. Uh, let's go to the questions. But before we go to the questions, I still want to thank every 32 of us for putting all of their energy into this project. And I wanted to thank the teachers and the playtesters and everyone that supported us with doing the merge. Yeah. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> yes. I couldn't have done this without you. And I'm, I'm really glad I can add this to my list of positive things that happened in my life. <laughs> <laughs> this minor truly cured my depression. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm real. I'm for real. It's just, it's, it's been an amazing experience. So thank you again. And to you, the viewers at home, uh, thank you for watching. And uh, let's go to the questions. Woo. Yes, nu wel. Oké, okay, top. Oké, okay. dan herhaal ik hem eventjes. Um, ja, het is gewoon helemaal compleet. Uh, van marketing tot de game zelf uh, ziet er piekfijn verzorgd uit. Je hebt gewoon oh. een, een speelbaar level waar de sfeer ook echt te proeven is. Dus in de, in de playthrough gaan jullie er wat snel doorheen. Als je hem zelf speelt ben je wat meer aan het rondkijken nog als, als nieuwtje. 
Dus en het komt gewoon allemaal over. Um, dus uh, het is super goed gedaan. Dus ik kan op details misschien hier en daar wat van gaan vinden. Maar um, ik vind het gewoon leuker om te zeggen. Het is super goed gedaan. Een heerlijk spel. En ik hoop dat jullie hiermee verder gaan. Ja, zeker. Ja. Dankjewel. Dankjewel. Ja, top om te horen. Thanks. Ja, ik kan me daar alleen maar helemaal bij aansluiten. Het ziet er gewoon fantastisch uit. Ik, ik heb het van de week geprobeerd op mijn computer te spelen, maar die is het daar niet mee eens. Dat, dat is niet meer jammer om geven. Dus ik moet even een nieuwe computer regelen voor als die straks in de winkels ligt. Ja. Ja, het zou leuk zijn als, die, als jullie ermee verder gaan. Ik ben heel benieuwd wat er dan, dan nog van, van komt. Het is veelbelovend wat mij betreft. Dank u. Ja. Er is een uh, vraag in de YouTube chat. Um, werkt het ook op Linux? <laughs> het antwoord op, daarop is ja. Uh, hij is alleen niet gebuild voor Linux. Hij is wel, een, hij is wel getest op Linux, maar uh, de buildversie daarvan is niet, niet released. Zijn er verder nog vragen, ook vanuit de chat? Iedereen is sprake. Mogen we die dan? <laughs> ja, tuurlijk. <laughs> Ik zal die uh, beeld wel maken en op dezelfde plek zetten. En dan uiteindelijk, als wij de game release op een specifieke plek, zal die beeld ook beschikbaar komen. Ik zie hier een vraag binnenkomen. Uh, waar kan ik de truien halen? Nou ja. <laughs> ik geef die vraag aan, je, aan jou. Uh, ja, we hebben eigenlijk alleen truien besteld voor ons team eerst. Uh, dus we hebben nu verder niks over. Maar als er genoeg vraag naar is, dan uh, gaan we zeker overwegen om nog een lading te bestellen. Dus laat vooral weten aan uh, ons of aan degene die je kent in ons team of je dat echt wil. En dan gaan we er naar kijken. Ja. Veel positief nieuws, maar wat hebben jullie vooral geleerd? Ja, ik denk dat dat voor iedereen uh, wel, uh, wel anders is. Um, iedereen heeft natuurlijk zijn eigen uh, specialisatie gehad hierin en daarin echt super veel geleerd. Maar ik denk dat iedereen wel overeen kan, overeens kan zijn dat uh, vooral het werken in een groep van 32 man met verschillende disciplines, dat dat gewoon... Uh, ja, ontzettend leerzaam is geweest, ook qua communicatie, hoe je met elkaar omgaat en hoe je 32 mensen met elkaar verbindt om uiteindelijk tot dit te kunnen komen. Dus, en dat uh, niet alleen, het is ook gewoon heel bijzonder om je, je idee wat heel erg van jezelf is, zo in een groep te gooien en kijken wat er dan mee gebeurt, het is een groepsverband. Dus hoe andere mensen jouw idee zeg maar groter kunnen maken en beter en dat is echt heel waardevol. Dan heb ik hier nog een vraag. Uh, ik zag wat lichtgevende tekens in de cave. Waar kwam de inspiratie voor de wereld vandaan? Um, ik, ik zal die even oppakken, ook naar mijn CIFAR dan. Want nou ja, zoals we al hadden gezegd, is, het begon natuurlijk bij CIFAR. Maar uh, wij hebben er als art team ook wel al uh, flink wat... Uh, vrijheid ingekregen om zelf ook te experimenteren. Dus uh, volgens mij begon het ergens met de deur van de airlock aan het begin. En, en vanuit daar is eigenlijk alles uh, eruit gerold. Uh, dus de pressure plates ging op de deur lijken en, die moest, en dat moest opvallen. En toen werd er een licht overheen gegooid en dat was cool. Dus dan moest er verder ook extra, zeg maar... Um, dus ik denk dat het daar vooral uh, begon allemaal. Ja, het komt ook omdat No Man speelt zich natuurlijk af in een post-apocalyptische setting. En de wereld is vergaan, maar de oude settlements van de mensheid op die planeet, zeg maar, die, uh, die zijn er nog. Dus die spirituele invloeden en van, de, van dat tempelbunker idee ook, dat uh, komt daar in allemaal in terug. Hoe, uh, hoe krijg ik dat verhaal mee als speler? Uh, voornamelijk door stories. Uh, ja. de, door de cutscene intro die we, die we ook hebben gezien. 
En ja, gedurende het spel willen we zeg maar uh, door middel van voorwerpen en door middel van dialoog en door middel van nog meer uh, uh, cutscenes en flashback momenten de story zeg maar aan de speler geven. De dialogue bestaat ook al, is geschreven, is opgenomen, hebben we ook al. Maar de uh, code voor het implementeren in de game uh, is er nog niet. Dus dat, uh, Iets te vandaar dat het nog niet in de demo te zien is. Oké, okay. ja. ja. Het was inderdaad het idee dat Ibo tussen het level door ook wat kon zeggen... om de speler mee te nemen in zijn denken, in zijn wereld. Dus eigenlijk beetje bij beetje uh, wordt het verhaal... Uh, losgelaten om dan zo eigenlijk het verhaal ook samen te puzzelen. Het is natuurlijk een puzzelgame. Uh, dus de stukjes verhaal, als je die bij elkaar legt, dan krijg je pas het complete plaatje. Helder, dank je. Uh, nog een vraag, ging ik toch nog een vraag stellen? <laughs> um, qua, qua audio. Ik, ik, in, in de cave hoor ik vooral dezelfde audio, of ik heb het niet goed gehoord. Zijn er ook plannen om dat wat dynamischer te maken, om ook echt met de spanning te werken? Uh, ja, dat klopt inderdaad. We hebben nu twee muzikale thema's. Uh, de eerste is in de woestijn en de tweede is in de bunker zelf. Uh, de bedoeling in eerste instantie was om te kijken of we interactieve muziek konden maken. Dus als je bepaalde delen in de bunker binnenloopt of weer uitgaat, dat er dan een ander soort muziekthema uh, vervolgt of bijkomt. Nu uiteindelijk hebben we ervoor gekozen om dat niet te doen, omdat het qua code en uh, het uitzoeken daarvan samen met design ook um, was een beetje lastig. Dus we hebben uiteindelijk daarvoor gekozen om dat um, één muzikaal thema te houden binnen de bunker. Um, maar daarin um, wouden we wel heel veel interactiemomenten uh, hebben, zoals de gitaar in de bunker, waar je dan zelf mee kunt interacten en die speelt dan ook een sample. Um, en er was inderdaad nog een optie, het moment dat je de rattenkamer binnengaat, dus het stukje dat je hebt gezien waarin er gevochten wordt tegen de ratten, uh, dat, dat daar ook een ander soort muzikaal thema even, even overneemt om, het spa, om de spanning zeg maar, te benadrukken. Dus dat zijn wel dingen die we ook zeker meenemen voor uh, als er in de toekomst verder aan gewerkt wordt. Uh, en vanaf het moment dat waar nu het spel eindigt, zeg maar, daar zou dan een nieuw level beginnen en vanaf daar is er dan ook weer een uh, nieuw muzikaal thema, zeg maar. Ja, een nieuwe vraag uit de chat. Hebben jullie plannen om de game ook echt op de markt te zetten? Um, ik kan denk ik voor een deel van de groep spreken om dat inderdaad te gaan doen. Daar hebben we al over gesproken. Uh, in ieder geval de demo gaat uh, one way or another online komen. Um, dus volgt Instagram account. Daar gaan we op vermelden uh, waar dat dan is en wanneer. Subscribe at no matter game. Exact. <laughs> um, maar nadat als wij afgestudeerd zijn, zijn wij zeker van plan om dit voor te zetten. Dus het antwoord simpelweg is uh, in principe ja, maar binnen welk termijn is nog onduidelijk. Yes. Oh, tot ziens. Tot ziens, ziens. <laughs> Dank je wel dat je erbij was. Verder nog vragen of opmerkingen vanuit de chat of vanuit hier? Welke award gaan jullie als eerste winnen? <laughs> <laughs> ja, goeie. Allemaal. Ja. Uh, <laughs> ja, allemaal. Uh, verder op ingaan. <laughs> dus, uh. In ieder geval. Vast heel veel succes bij het vervolg. Dankjewel. 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 Nou, en dan kunnen wij zo door naar de giveaway. Dan uh, was dat hem denk ik uh, voor, uh, voor deze ochtend. Um, dan uh, als mensen het leuk vinden uh, vanavond om acht uur uh, gaan we weer live. En uh, mochten nog vragen te binnen schieten. We hebben dan weer een... Uh, Vragen rondje uh, sluit daar vooral aan. Uh, en bij de stream vanavond is er weer een kans op uh, de limited edition poster van Nomad. En gesigneerd. En ja. gesigneerd, ja. Door zeker. Mij. <laughs> nou, dankjewel jongens. Fantastisch.
gaan ervan genieten. Dankjewel. Dankjewel. In de Teams chat vraagt Frank, mag ik de livestream ook gebruiken voor promo doeleinden van game? Ik denk het wel, toch? Ja, ja van mij wel. Zeker. Zeker. Ja. So, Let's go. Ik vond jullie, uh, jullie, jullie verhaal, ook de manier hoe jullie het presenteerden, vond ik echt heel mooi om te zien um, wat game ook inhoudt. Ook ja. voor toekomstige studenten. Vandaar, dat is een beetje de achtergrond van mijn vraag. Los dat ik sowieso een trailer heb waar ik de gameplay in wil gaan verwerken. Um, vond ik ook de gesprekken tussen jullie erg heel erg tof om te zien. Mm-hmm. Ja, zeker. Mag je zeker gebruiken. Oké. Okay. Zullen we dan door naar de giveaway? Als ja, er geen vragen meer zijn. Yes, yes, yes. Vraag me af of Martijn het meekrijgt trouwens. Want ja, hij Martijn loopt vast volgens mij. Dan kijk ik Martijn is dus aan beeld gewoon. Doe te streamen oh, nog. Oh. YouTube oh. doet te streamen nog, maar Martijn die staat helemaal stil. Ja. <laughs> Ik zie trouwens dat we ook nog de complimenten krijgen voor het hele team via de YouTube chat. Ik heb ze gelezen. Oh. Martijn zegt zijn tablet zit zonder internet. Ah, ah. vandaar. Nou, gelukkig... Uh die hier niet per se meer te praten, zolang er een... Uh... Hij beweegt, hij beweegt. Hij beweegt. Ik ben er weer. Yeah. Oh, hey. Hey. Hij is weer terug. Tijd voor de giveaway, Martijn. Tijd voor de giveaway, zeker, zeker. <laughs> dus... Dan weet het mijn handen als uh, een van jullie, want jullie hebben uh, de giveaway klaarstaan, als het goed is. Zeker. Klopt dat? Dan, uh, als jij je scherm deelt, dan zorg ik dat die uh, in beeld gaat komen. Oké, okay, zal ik dat dan doen? Yes. Doe maar. Okay. Spannend. Uno momento, dan ga ik de namen er nu in zetten. Spannend. En dan. Ja. Kom op, kom op. Dat is heel spannend. Oké, okay, is hij zichtbaar? Yes. Het yes. Rat. Laat maar weten als hij op stream zichtbaar is. Dan ga ik hem draaien. Hij is, uh, hij is zichtbaar. Hij is zichtbaar. Hell yeah. Oké. Okay. Let's go. Het rat, tromgeroffel. Yes. Hey. Hallo, hallo. Geen idee, maar Isabel, gefeliciteerd. Poster komt bij jouw kant op. Ja, Isabel, de volgende keer als ik jou weer zie, dan krijg je van mij de gesigneerde poster. <laughs> En heb je hem niet gewonnen, niet getreurd, om acht uur vanavond is er nog een kans. Yes. Dan uh, is het tijd om uh, iedereen uh, te bedanken. Iedereen die hier zit, iedereen die vanuit uh, thuis meekijkt via de stream. Um, en misschien tot, uh, tot vanavond en uh, anders uh, tot een andere keer. Uh, hopelijk tot in de toekomst, wanneer we... Uh, nog een stuk verder zijn met Nomad. Maar voor nu, hou doe. Tot ziens. Ja, Dankjewel tot allemaal ziens. voor het kijken. Bedankt ja, allemaal. Bedankt. Veel rust gegund nu. Yes. Ja, zeker. zeker.